Even though electric cars have outsold diesel vehicles in many European countries like Germany, Norway, Sweden, etc., for a long time now, that has not been the case for the entirety of Europe. Small, cheap, polluting diesel cars, which are often well, which are very bad for you if you breathe in those emissions, which you will be if you live in those countries, are still very popular across many, many countries in Europe. However, things have changed drastically. In fact, Motor One has just reported that in June, for the first time in the last century, electric cars outsold diesel vehicles in Europe. Hello, my friends. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Australia. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back, everyone else. The scandal at the Volkswagen Group, not just Volkswagen Group. I mean, heck, everyone was in on this. Mercedes did it as well. BMW, Stellantis, Toyota. They're in court right now for um, their diesel cheating over the last decade. Anyway, all of that has triggered the beginning of the end for diesel in Europe. Eventually, the beginning of the end for diesel everywhere. And part of that is the World Health Organization exposing the fact that diesel is killing people. In fact, it's killing more people than traffic accidents. About 1.4 million people are killed every year in a traffic accidents, but even more from the fumes from diesel cars. Not only that, increasingly stricter emissions regulations are making diesel vehicles more vulnerable to extinction Hence why many automakers have already stopped offering diesels or smaller cars. Now, it's quite hard now to manufacture a diesel vehicle um, that will meet the, oncoming, the upcoming diesel regulations, especially Euro 7 regulations. It's going to be very difficult. But the truth is people are dropping diesels like a stone. And one of the key reasons for that is modern diesels are nowhere near as reliable as old diesels. And people just realize diesels aren't that great, really. Now... June sales numbers released by the European Automobile Manufacturers Association tell an interesting story. Demand for diesel cars is falling very quickly. Motor One says that in European countries, the market share for diesels contracted to only 13.4% last month, which is a lot less than the 17.4% share achieved in June of 2022. This weaker demand allowed purely electric cars, as in just, EV, just EVs, not hybrids or plug-in hybrids, to surpass diesels for the first time ever. Zero emission cars accounted for 15.1% of the total share across all of Europe, up from 10.7% in June of 2022. So June, 10% last year. June this year, 15%. That's a good rise. I think we're going to see a faster rise next year. The reason being more affordable electric cars will be available by then. Self-charging hybrids, self-charging hybrids, were also more popular than diesels thanks to a market share of 24.3%, while plug-in hybrids represented 8% of total demand, down from 8.2% in June of 2022. So plug-in hybrid sales are declining across all of Europe, 8.2% last year to 7.9% this year. The ACA study shows that gasoline is king at the moment, not for long though in my opinion. And in fact, the CEO of Volvo believes this will end by 2026. More than a third of all sales were petrol or gasoline, 36.3%. That translates to 379,000 vehicles or 11% more than in June of 2022. Even though the sales numbers are up, the market share actually went down from 38.5% to 36%. So petrol sales have declined in market share. Even though diesels are gradually falling out of favor in the European Union, ACEA notes a boost in sales of 10% in Germany, as well as in Central European markets. However, the reason for that is the overall car market has risen sharply. Romania had the largest growth percentage-wise in June 2023 compared to the same month last year, with sales of new diesel cars increasing by an incredible 22%. Basically, the European Union appear to be dumping their possibly non-complying diesel vehicles into Romania, probably at low prices. Overall, new car sales of all types of powertrains jumped in the European Union during the first six months of 2023 by 18% to 5.4 million vehicles. That though is still much lower. We reached peak car many years ago. That's 21% lower than compared to the first half of 2019 before the pandemic. 
ACEA points out that supply chain bottlenecks are less and less of an issue. In fact, there's enough inventory to say that right now demand is basically being met by inventory, except for when it comes to affordable, compelling electric cars. That's the reason probably why the Tesla Model Y is the best selling car in the world this year, but more importantly, it's the best selling car in Europe. And it's the only EV in the top five best selling cars in Europe. The rest of them are internal combustion engine vehicles. Now, if Volkswagen had a compelling electric car for a similar price, I think it could match the, Vol the Model Y in sales, but they just don't, unfortunately. With Euro 7 regulations slated to come into effect in 2025, we expect automakers to accelerate the transition to EVs. Euro 7 will definitely be a big challenge for a lot of automakers. A lot of them are complaining about it, but I don't think Euro 7 will change. So they just have to put up and shut up. In other words, there will be fewer pure internal combustion engine cars on sale, period. The Volkswagen Group has warned that B-segment cars are in jeopardy, ones that they sell anyway, as tweaking their engines to comply with the tougher legislations might make these models too expensive. From 2035, automakers in the European Union won't be able to sell new cars that generate emissions. In other words, even hybrids will be banned. It'll be fully electric in 2035 only. Now, the interesting thing is here, if we have a look at the little timeline here, right? Euro 7 regulations will come into effect in 2025. So Tesla has two years to get Model 2 production underway. I'm pretty confident Tesla's planners, or their 25 guns, right? I'm pretty sure are aware of those guys, are guys and girls, very well aware. Euro 7, 2025, other automakers in Europe will be struggling with this. They won't be able to produce the EVs that will be demanded by the market. The market will demand a certain amount of cars. They won't have them available. Tesla is saying, okay, how do we make more Model 2s? How do we get those into Europe? I reckon that's what they'll be planning for. But hey, what do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comments. This is great news either way. EVs, 10% last year across all of Europe to 15% this year. Next year, my prediction is 25%. The year after that, 50%. That's what I'm going with. What do you think on that prediction? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.